Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at the market leading ETS for the coming week. This is going to be post expiration. This is going to be the beginning of the new option cycle. This is going to be for Tuesday, January 20th, 2015. Uh, what we usually see uh, on uh, after option expiration is, is kind of things pretty much paired off. We'll see volume bumps, but we won't see a lot of signals usually. That, that, for that reason, that, that means that when we do see signals, it's usually something, uh, something notable. Here in the major ETFs, the broad-based ETFs, we have a couple of volume bumps, as we would expect. We have one on the spiders and one on the diamonds. But we do have a, a signal to the upside in the IWM that tracks the small caps and a fair amount of, fair amount of movement versus the open. So that might be one to, to watch early next week. Moving on to the individual sectors, we've got our volume bumps, as we would expect. But we do some deviations here. IBB had a big deviation to the upside where the biotechs were strong. OIH. Also was uh, was trying to uh, to move up last week in the XLE. Also in the energy patch, was to the upside. We've got a fair amount of contra signals. That's where we uh, closed actually below below you know below the previous day's settlement, but above the day's open. So down, but up above the day's open. And those are always uh, notable and can be a a, a sign of the uh, the market wanting to continue to the upside, even though. Uh, Net net things closed down the previous session. Taking a look at commodities, uh, the USO obviously has been in play that had a lot of volume and a big deviation to the upside. Silver SLV movement to the upside. UNG had a contra candle to the upside, but had a fairly weak close. As far as the bonds go, the bonds are at range high. They had a little bit of a relief day on uh, on Friday where we saw some uh, some selling, but we had an inside day, so we need to resolve the Thursday candle before we get any, any further clarity on the bonds. Looking at the, uh, at the foreign names, had outright upside CPS on the RSX with a VWAP deviation at the close. And we've got uh, a contra candle to the upside in EWT and the EWG. And the EWG is kind of interesting too because that tracks Germany. And obviously with, with what's been going on with, uh, with Switzerland and the impact with the Euro, that's kind of an interesting signal right there in and of itself. And finally, looking at the leverage names, the uh, the triples, um, these are the specials. Uh, the FAS, the TNA, and the UWM all had upside indications. Nothing here uh, to the downside uh, to follow through. Those are the things you should be uh, tracking for the uh, for the next week. All right now, as I'd like to do, here's a look at the uh, at the watches with things broken down. Take a look at the uh, bar counts. You can see here in the uh, the broad based generals here, the spiders, the fuse, the diamonds, and whatnot. We don't have any exhaustion runs that are uh, uh, in place yet where we could uh, get, be getting close to any exhaustion points. Uh, we're a couple days down here, uh, two or three days down, depending on which one you're looking at, but we're very far away from nine days down, so we're not going to likely record anything this week. Looking at the uh, at the individual sectors, nothing's really all that close at all. The only thing that's, that's a little bit close here is the uh, is the KRE, which is, uh, which is 10 days down in the uh, Comer exhaustion. But nothing, nothing too, uh, too far along there. The one that might fire this week, though, uh, would be the XLU, which is seven days up, and also the uh, IYR, which is eight days up. So those could easily uh, print nine bars up this week and then be in shape for some kind of a, uh, of a, of a leveling off or a potential reversal. So those are things you should be uh, also tracking this coming week. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.